uh, have a hard time to collect myself in the morning. Me too. So, <laughs> the lazy. I'm not lazy. Uh, the slow motion, I guess. That's yeah. a good word. This, uh, yeah, slow motion's the mind. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can usually get up pretty fast in the morning, so however really it is, and then I'm just rushing to... Yeah. Get up and leave, but like yeah. it, it hits me at like midday. <laughs> oh, the yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to have to have a nap. Not anymore. So. That's good. Yeah. I think that was a spoiled <laughs> habit. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore. I guess get old and to do something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you prefer that shit, like yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Father, we love you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for today. Lord, I pray that you would be here with us this morning as we spend time together. Lord, that your good and mighty work would continue. Lord, in my heart and Brother Emmanuel's heart. Lord, in the hearts of your people. Lord, I pray that you would draw us closer to you. Lord, as we seek to know you, mm. to see your face, Lord, and to, to be more like you. Mm. Mm. Lord, I pray that each heart would be encouraged. Mm. Lord, though the enemy is so adamantly trying to shut us down and mm. discourage us, Lord, that we would have no fear and no discouragement. Because mm. we know that you are by our side, Father. Lord, so I pray that Mm. You would speak to us and that we would listen for you. Mm -hmm. Praise your name. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, I'm going to have you open the topics. Uh, see what's going on. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting busier, huh? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I actually... I got... Uh pretty much started on the or in getting enrolled in the running start program oh that's good yeah, so I, yeah. I even i scheduled my placer test on the third on the third of may yeah that's the closest oh, they could do it I unfortunately see. but um oh, that's good yeah i heard uh you and isaac were talking about him me his dad and talked to him the yeah. other day wednesday afternoon yeah uh yeah, we spent a long time actually. I think Isaiah could give you a better reports on what's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, he kind of he yeah, told me a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he had just mentioned that he was doing that. I just wonder. Sure. Uh, uh, we didn't make. I think in my position like his dad. Right. Try to have him make up his own mind. You know, so mm -hmm. the reason I enlisted, oh, uh, have Isaiah to. To say you better bring one of your parents around because I don't, I don't know him like I know you. Mm -hmm. The contest where his life is, so I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out where he is. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, I don't think he 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 think it's a. But I think the biggest reason he is pregnancy about it, not uh, you know try to ask it. Because he obviously don't want to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I can tell. Right. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's trying to 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 don't want to, you know, be a be a, a missing opportunity to 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 something important in his life. You yeah. know, so, and especially he feel bad and not able to spend time with you. I guess you know, Maybe, so, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Well, that's a huge on his heart. I can see it. So you know, so he he wanted to, to seek him, you know. Uh, others can, can can identify what's going on. Mm. So, our conscious Molani, I'm not sure you how he reported you, mm. Molani, um, to him to think about the greater destiny, mm. in his life, what God has, for him, so to look at long term, you know, so, mm. and um, and prioritize life in a way. That is suitable for his season, you know. So yeah, so I think it's Isaiah is, is world wise young man. So you know, yep. so yeah. Um, I didn't mention the certain thing about you. I think 
in a in a light maybe not that fearable, but uh, I think it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was saying what do I want to say. Uh, yeah, you 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 not anymore. You grew up out of it, rather. You know that's mm. always a mature process. Mm. When the thing that, um, you know, we start something, we don't finish. It, you know, so we don't really think about what we pick up with. You know, so the school is the senses. You know, yeah. so rather than how God said it, what is my priority? What is what is you want me to do? You know, so. Mm-hmm. When you're young, that's okay, but of your age and his age, Isaac's age, age, age um, we need to come out of that modality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I heard a lot of old people this day, you know, in Freedom saying, I wish I could just try it out, you know, go with uh, whatever, you know, don't right. have a lot of uh, fear, you know, with you, obviously. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. I mean, winter, obviously. Well, yeah, I don't think those people walk in the Lord, however, <laughs> that often. <laughs> Therefore, the struggle almost had is a personal struggle. Yeah. They never have a healthy, perspective of life. <clears throat> never have a call. Never have um, some divinely imparted or imputed display. You know, so. Therefore, it's just, you know, you always feel miss out. I mean, can you believe that? The old age, asking otherwise for your age, actually, exactly your age. Hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of fun, get it, you know, don't miss the opportunity, basically. That's interesting. That's true, you know, young people need to splash around a little bit to try to feed things. Mm-hmm. And don't, don't miss the, the wonderful time of youth. At the same time, man, you are 70, 80, ready to. To see by to the world, I mean, there's a lot of regret. Every day, don't feel the life has seized the opportunity. I mean, what an opportunity we're talking about. So, it's like they never know what their life is supposed to be about, you know? So, mm. Therefore, they're thinking about, oh, that's, if only that opportunity has stick to it, my life might be changed, or this will be changed. They are happy people, they're not, you know, people on settled. Very wise seem to be where, you know. But all everybody live a life regret. Mm. That's not supposed to be a God in my however. You see my point? We have many regrets. But it, hey, you know, God is the one who fulfill your destiny. You know? Well, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. Well, you know what? It's not up to you. Yes, it's not so. In the end of the day, it better not up to you. So you choose to yield to a divine guidance. Yeah. The Bible said, "A righteous man steps forward in the black man." You know, the 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 fallacy behind that thinking is that those mindsets seems wise. Is to think, I'm going to be the decision maker. Of my life. Therefore, they. They always said, option A or B, oh, I'm sorry, I choose option B, you know. If only I choose option A, I might have a different life, and I So, yeah. I mean, can you believe that? Yeah, that's what a selfish, dis- decided life leads to. Yeah, and it's not selfish people. I mean, talking about this, this common well, way of life. Yes, no, I understand what decided you're saying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to miss, miss no, here. Yeah. yeah. So, that's, that's, that's sad, huh? Mm-hmm. That's everybody without God. I and mean, when they walk with God, you're walking in that mindset, you know, so. They, they don't know, man. The major decisions always been by, my, by themselves. That's incredible to me. I mean, I'm so glad that you young people may have a different starting point with us. You know, the reality I don't make my choices for about 20 years. I don't make a. I don't, I don't develop a relationship without God's calling to do it. So, <laughs> I don't go somewhere without God telling me to do it. Mm. I, I, I didn't. I didn't want things in my life, you know. So, 
I didn't pursue it, you know, so got it hung down, you know. So right. <laughs> no, it's all. You know, one thing leads another, and that's really happened. Can you believe that? You know, so. I have an idea. You want to hear it? Yeah. Comparison. If you're going to. I don't know if it's a good point or not. It's like you. And it has these two pictures. One is, uh, think of this mountain, right? In the deep of the mountain, behind the rocks. There are many minerals, many metals, say. Silver, gold, bronze, all kind of things, precious things, right? Make it sense to you? Mm. But also, maybe precious stones as well, right? See, mm. some of that. So, the guy said, well, you know, let deep. Will I come out of it? That's mine, am right? You know, that's a life. Life is supposed to be a mountain, you know, you work at it, whatever you got, am I? So, you feel it's, it's your treasure, you say. Whatever you treasured. But that's the way how you do it, is dig, 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 and whatever you found, you say, hey, that's my achievement, right? <clears throat> That's what most people do. And whatever you got, that's a lot. And be proud with it, you know. You could dig a golden mine, wonderful for you. I mean, you call the silver. Imagine a bunch of silver would dig it up. You can reach real quick, am I? So, yeah. Anyway, let me use this, uh, uh, this Job 28. Uh, can you bring the Bible here? So, yeah. Uh, and there's a Bible on my shelf as well. I share something with you, maybe not that good, but there's a Bible for me there, there. Oh, yeah, so, on the shelf, top shelf, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, 28, I think it's over 28. <clears throat> the picture I tried to register in your mind is, yeah, you know, people get a lot of bronze, a lot of silver, and it's, you know, deep, wherever they start the deep, right? So don't study the way whole thing being found. Mm. So suppose you see another person, he's a gold miner, he is a prospecting good. And he intentionally follows a little pieces of gold as scattered it is, undiscernible to certain inexperienced eyes, but he knows how to find mm. the tree seeds, am right? So then he found this crack where the gold called a wing of the gold, am yep. right? go through it, then he began to dig according to the way. I mean, that's hard work, to call the channel there, right? Channel mm -hmm. through the wings. The channel you can pass through. And you don't just massively dig. You only channel, follow the trail. Wherever it goes, you know, channel through it. Make it sound to you, you know, so have you seen gold come up between the rocks? Yep. That's a lot of digging, you know, a lot of channeling. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you never know where it goes. But you know one thing, there is almost like a, a sewer line, right? I mean, it's a, <laughs> a golden line, you know? You, you found that. You don't, you don't know where to go, but you know how you dig. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the rock, how hard it is, what it cuts, whatever the texture of the mountain is, you know, someone like me, see, you know, so, yeah. And you found silver, you don't care. You're going to dig the gut. You will find a massive silver. You don't have to spend time saying, hey, I got what I need, am right? So, no, 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 I got a better thing to go. This is what I try to find. So there are two ways of life. You know? I think those people are older, the wise as they get, but that's worldly wisdom. Is to never know what they want. Whatever comes. Because at the end of the day, it's always think, oh my God, I got some silver. Or maybe I can get more bronze, you know? <laughs> oh, I got some bronze, man. I remember, however. Man, there is some silver I missed, you know? So, <laughs> this kind of uh, thinking, you know? So, right. But they never have this inspiration or revelation from the wine. 
divine divinity, God, gives the sign or the the signature that your life is meant to do uh, for good. You know? Uh, therefore you don't just you, you know law law secure, you're gonna find your goal. I'm talking about wisdom. Mm. The goal of life, am I? You know, so and um, yeah, another picture parallel to this is the uh, you go to the game area, is people shoot the boom boom, you know, shoot a certain target, mm. then get the prize, am I? So yeah. A certain people um the they hit a target, whatever prize they got they're gonna just walk away, am I so you see my point. There's certain people practice it, work good, they're gonna say it. I'm gonna get that prize, you know, so <laughs> boom, you know. <laughs> Make a sense here? Right. I don't think it's starboard, it's a it's a wheel of processing thing. Determination. Yes. Re processing thing. You know what you want. You know what are you getting? Is that a good thing? It's a good thing. We're a good thing. I mean, suppose the way you don't know your lot, don't know your goal, don't know your don't know your life is about. Mm. That's like no purpose in life. Don't know your destiny. I know my destiny. Only why did <laughs> when I was homeless. Before I know the Bible. I don't think I haven't even known the Lord very well. But God told me. Can you believe that? He told me I'm going to have a 30 some people. Small community people are his remnant. Mm. That will be preserved by him. Actually I think I saw this corner. It are going to be a preservation. When he began to judge the West. Especially Christianity. <laughs> Can you believe that? Mm. I have no idea what Christianity is about. <laughs> you give the number. You give the location. I don't know where it is yet. But it, at least I know. It was supposed to be a community. It will be a little flock of people. He called his remnant. It's a precious people. The word is new to me. Precious. So he heard the Lord Rain said, Hey my precious, you know, what? Oh my <laughs> You see my point? And that's uh, I don't know precious what it means over there, you know. So it's a treasure people. So and uh, I don't know, I can't keep the topic away or afraid. So there's two ways of looking life, am I? So now how you come about and those days I don't even have any friend. <laughs> I don't want any place to leave. I was homeless, so. How did that even happen? Where am I? <laughs> but God told me those things. I remember it was a, through a dream. I look at you, all kind of things. It was so random. He told me there would be nameless people. You know, nameless, the world will not recognize them. If it's the world, don't care about them. You know, the world ever really think they are not, nobody is nothing. You know, so. But God said they are precious to me. You know, they got the apple my eye, literally something of that nature. You know, it's in my implant, in my plan. The whole world, like, you know, everybody think that they're getting somewhere, doing something, bother around, scheming around, planning around, working hard. And guys, you know what? You know, they're doing their thing, you know. So, but you, these people, will be chosen by me and used by me. Mm. And that's it before you were born. Can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't give him the word culture, but I know we will do life differently. 
unprecedented in the way how others do life through the generations. Mm. And he said, then he said, they will carry out my will in any time. Mm. You know, going to start something. So, I mean, after that, your goal pretty set, am I? You found the golden, the way of the gold. It isn't where it's going to go. No, I do, actually, I didn't do the work of digging. <laughs> That's a follow. Where he leading me. So, after that, you, you know, I made mistakes. Sometimes I, I do make my small choices. But I don't make a bigger choices, like uh, who I can associate in the Lord. <coughs> Because I know it's a very small number of people. <laughs> mm. Not be a massive movement. You know, you watch out the world. People say, hey, there's a green moon, the whole world will be touched. Me and so we say, mm, not me. Not for me. Mm. So you're not moved by those things. Making sense to you? Is there anything to touch? Yeah, absolutely will be touched. But it touched when the West being judged. So <laughs> it's difficult, right? It was sad for me. <laughs> I didn't get American to for the downfall. <laughs> God, I'm happy about it. What are you talking about? This? So <laughs> to me, American is my props to laugh that day. <laughs> so, 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 and God said, no, not for that, for this reason. So it was a frustrating, shocking. But I, 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 I put that, you know, somewhere. And but more than that, there are many kind of experiences like that confirm the same thing. So, back to the story of a two way for life. When is whatever you dig, work hard, dig as much as you can, right? So, silver or bronze doesn't matter. The other way is that we don't have to follow God's voice. I'm going to let God tell me what is my life is about. Then they follow that, that the sign of the wind of the gold. It is always show you. It's impossible to miss it. Because it's a delight to show you. It is not the father to cheat you. He's not the sorry and kind of manage your affairs. You know, he, he says the brown the, 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 the crumb trills, you know. You you found a pattern. I'm mad listening to talking about pattern. You found a pattern. You know, for example, mad to talk a good story. Uh, 2019. Yeah, 2019. No, 2009. A long time ago, right? Before I moved out to Texas. Yeah. And I had a dream. And in the dream, I'm going to travel uh, by the train, you know. Mm. And we and we found my family there, basically. And uh, I preached, and uh, and there will be a, a a man sitting under the tree. A, a father figure actually said, "I have been waiting for twenty years." Is that twenty years? For, for for to hear this message. I'm distressed, I'm hopeless, I, you know, you just bring the message to me. And can you go to, to talk to my son, you know? Maybe you can change his heart. Because I don't know how to speak to him anymore. It's brilliant, young man sitting on the tree. And uh, so, man, three days, you, you were there, he shares his testimony. How many years is that? Around 20. Is that maybe? Mm. Your, your aunt Kim took a notice of that. Mm. That's uncanny, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about the family concert these days, right? So, right. <laughs> 2009, <laughs> you guys are back in Austin. I'm ready to head out. How about you head out? Yeah, this is so. <laughs> Make it sense to you, you know, so. Mm. In the dream, you 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 might want to read it because it's an interesting story. Yeah. There's a seaside <laughs> family. <laughs> anyway, so those things called the crumb trust. 
then you know you're not making your own decision. Mm. So you did this, I did it. You must be a cult. You must do your following. Well, go ahead. Think whatever you want to think, you know? <laughs> I'm not in the business to argue with you. <laughs> but obviously, you don't know anything about me. You don't care about it, what God's doing. That's fine. <clears throat> but you know, the fact is that we, I didn't make those decisions. You know? Did I make those decisions? Not really. I'm right? so, How many implicitly moved? And people still say those kind of things happen, still say, Oh, that's random, that's candle. Oh, you know, happened to everybody. <laughs> really now. <laughs> I hope you don't like this little people in the read, but you on the almost you know, on the end of your days. I look back and said, If only I did that you know, so <laughs> I tell young people yeah, try it out, please. Try it out of the world. <laughs> You're not going to hurt you. So you don't have regret. What life is that? Don't know what it is. You, you came here for you to begin with. And never have an idea how to approach it. That's literally shooting the dots everywhere. It's over the stakes. <laughs> Where there's no God. No humility. No divine inspiration. Therefore, you never know. You're destined for something. <laughs> a righteous man step up. A destined. For then, destined. And people said, you are so spiritualized. You just think you are somebody. Well, you don't walk that walk. Don't tell me how to walk. Obviously, you have no idea what it look like. Yeah. You're fool to me. <laughs> What you ever you think is good argument it's you are full. There is another realm of life, another way of life you obviously have a no touch. You don't even think it possible. You have a no appetite for it. You are full. <laughs> you are lost cause to God. Am I making sense to you? A tumbleweed, you know, when it comes this tumble you <laughs> No roots. You don't know what you want. And so people pass around, I know what I want. Let me tell you what you should want. Hold on a minute. You're a bubble. Sorry. You know, tumbleweed, am I? It's on purpose in life. And the man no purpose. <clears throat> He's never going to have a satisfaction with himself. He will never be happy about himself. So this is all generation we interview. Nobody's happy about being themselves. <laughs> that sounds selfish. Because they never know who they are. You know, I care to ask, what, who am I? What I came here for? And they tell young people how to live their life. They're lost. Making sense to you? A loss of soul tells us how to have a better cut in life, you know. In a lost world, in a lost way. That's my point. We should not, even your wish in life has to be like that. You may have fun, splash around, many adventures, I mean, everywhere. So the people make a bigger fame, right? Splash around. Let me ask the big idols, stars, movie stars, music stars, whatever they're. Let me ask some serious question. Do you know who you are? And most people were afraid to tell them, tell us they don't know who they are. I'm this, I'm a singer. No, no, no. Do you really know who you are? No. The drink, doing drugs. Have all the all kind of foolish parties, all kind of foolish lifestyles, and they put on this show as if they, they have all life together. The miserable in their own soul. Always tormented. Those people talking about mental health, you know. Try to discuss their mental health. 
Well, your lifestyle is your mental health. <laughs> your problem. The cause of your mental health. Because you never really desired to seek inner healing, inner knowledge of who you are. I mean, I got, okay, I got best music in the world. I got all the fans in the world. Made a ton of money. So what? Nobody want to know you. You don't want to know anybody. Fast is not your friend. They endear themselves to you. It's because you have a talent. But that's not your friend. So don't talk to me about that. When you sit down with me. I don't care. So, I want to see. Are you of a dust? Rubbish or gold? In the inner man. Amen, hallelujah. Everybody can put on the show. <coughs> Package that. With talents or gifts, whatever, fashion, we think is good. Ideas in my words. But, what's really you are? What are you going to die for? <laughs> Obviously, you don't have a cause. That's why you pursue the thing. Excited about new things. You're not gonna die for your fans. <laughs> so, your fan die for you, you're gonna uh, oh, another fool. You don't care about anybody. <laughs> I'm just talking. But those people think they're somebody. Literally, the people of the society made them, kind of blame them. <laughs> the culture inaugurated that kind of worship of such lifestyle. And a generation is afraid into that fantasy, fantasy land. How many ended in good terms? How many actually have a happy family? How many have a long-term friend? Not really, am I? That means that life is pretty miserable. It's almost like 100% <laughs> of the time there's always like some divorce. Some I know, always like some, some bad gospel news, you know, mm -hmm. so as they occupied much of the entertainment information, right? So. Isn't that amazing the culture of how shallow it is? How fake it is? Because that's all fake. It's like package something, right? Mm. Well, you're a young man, you dress pretty nice. You, you, you can dress a poor. You can have a bad hairstyle, get some, you know, don't wash it, get it dirty. Well, those people will look at you, oh, something wrong with that dude. <laughs> They're never going to be my friend. They even care about what is inside of you. Your history, your passion, what's going on in your heart, your education, whatever, your aspiration life. They don't want to know you. <laughs> so you dress it up, you clean up, you dress nice, you know. You maybe can sing a song, have a skill set, dance a little bit, doing something. Everybody wants to know you now. <laughs> Can you tell me how to life? <laughs> the same person. I don't know. I want to, I want to come back to the topic of being good, finding wisdom. So the key to find what really God's destiny for you. And not your self-imposed, self-imagined, presumed, but divinely revealed. Mm. And you have that. Be your it. Elijah tell you, when God said he didn't fulfill destiny, nothing can stop you. Uh, many of people come when I tell them this kind of caliber of conversation. First, the response with disbelief. Yeah. The second is excited. Yeah, I want to do that with you. Then drift it away. Disbelief again. <laughs> Most important, they're not committed. They can stay the course. Have you found the horses riding a chariot? The horses want to go on their way as if they're no one driving it. That's the most Christian do. 
as if there is no rain, you know, no direction. No, no. Why are you a horse? Why are you under a certain regime of uh, responsibility? Therefore, there never was discipline in life. Now, a man, however, knows where to go. He said, like, hey, I'm going somewhere. I need a chariot. I need to carry the ark of the Lord. <laughs> Sorry, it's a joke. <laughs> or some treasure God wanted me to do. Your messages are my dealer things. So. Mm. And, you know, you walk. You crawl. The next thing you know what? There's a horse ready for you. <laughs> the next thing, a chariot ready for you. The next thing, maybe airplane. <laughs> so, so. Why? Because God will do it. You're not on your own mission. You don't run your own course. You don't carry your own purpose. You don't achieve your own goal. You are man called, chosen for the greater cause. And the cause is beyond marry your earthly span of life, beyond this world, right? For me, eternity. Before you are born. Can you believe that? On that note, turn with me to First Timothy, I think, somewhere. I'm not sure sure not. Well, that's, that's the point I'm using my example of life to point to your, to your life. Mm. Am I making sense here? You know, so that's what you call for. And that's kind of foundation. That a guy gonna lay in your life, am I? So then kind of a pattern of life you know. And then think about in the old age, you will never say, like many say, I don't know what God <laughs> I don't like. Just take whatever opportunity, don't miss the point, don't miss the chance. How foolish is that? Yeah. The life is wasted, am I? So I need to pray before I find it. Yeah. Yes, Lord, I pray that we each would lead a life, Lord, not led by our own our own worldly thinking and our own desires. But Lord, that we would be led by your Holy Spirit, Lord, inside us. Lord, for each decision that we make, or each step that we take in life, each path that we lead, Lord, that we would walk it with our hand, and Lord, in your hand, Lord, that we would no longer lead ourselves, Lord, or even mislead others, but Lord, and only encourage, Lord, to be led by the Spirit, or led by your voice. Led by your signs. Mm. Lord, I just pray for your goodness to continue. And Lord, that these end times, Lord, that you would truly take priority to what you are doing. Mm. Press your name. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can find it real quick. Mm. Give me a little patience here, okay, sir? So. Yeah, no worries.
I almost read it this morning. I'm sure it's somewhere. I think it's in Timothy. I'm so sorry, I can't. No, it's okay. Yeah. So, so the point is that he was said, "I'm growing for Christ before me." Paul was talking about, mm-hmm. but he said, "The what form in you? Because this is your Lord before the foundation of the world." Can you imagine that Christ in you, I mean being in the group. Maturity. That's all that matters. And that is a goal for service for others as well. Mm-hmm. So your personal and I quite fully for me, maturity in Christ. That's all it cares. Personally. The second the charge is duty, am I? So personal fulfillment. Then fulfillment with a duty am I entrusted to do. Be faithful, steward for that entrustment. Mm-hmm. He then wants the others to follow the same pattern that Christ be forming for me in them. Then he said, me, my life, and this is service to others, the result of it is before the beginning of the world. Wow. Think about the mindset there. Conscious mind. See, my early day, Elijah, you want to hear some story? Mm-hmm. Now, I know Kunshi like a little bit. Said he, when he's a seven, I'm sorry, when he's 50, 50 years old, he knows having given destiny. So my prayer has been, God, I want to know my destiny. And I found it before I was 40. So I said, do not in my life. <laughs> if you're real, slower than Confucius, the wise man in China, right? <laughs> I want to catch up at least on part with his, his development, his wisdom. He has not knowledge, scholarship, whatever, but I don't think that matters to me, you know. So. Right. <coughs> <coughs> my is more personal, selfish, centered <laughs> thinking. I want to know my destiny. I don't want to be a scholar or anything, but I want to know about this. And God revealed that before I was 40. Because 30 years old, I have nothing in the world. No roots, nothing, not a penny, right? So, no home, no friends, no family. All that time. So, in this statement said, why should he establish himself well in the, in the world a little bit? He does have family, have roots, and no roots. So I look at my life, pretty feel ashamed. Those days I don't know the Bible, don't know anything about God, not really. And that was a huge struggle for me. 30 is when I lost everything, you know. Intense struggle, what is, what, why am I here? What's, good? What's life about? So... I think that's one of the most one of the most miserable times, and uh, so that one drive me crazy because it's like a sword over the top. I want to know. I want to get some roots down. I want to know what my life's about. You know, so 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 this is statement said at fifty years old. He knows. Confucian knows he's a heaven given destiny, <laughs> not self assigned. You know, he wanted to give it all the means. I said, I want to know that. So as I turned to the Lord, and the Lord began to answer my prayers, one after what? I mean, amazing ways. He told me miracle signs. Those are serious miracle signs. Not external. I be called I'm in heaven. I will see human history. I will see all my whole life. From the foundation of the world. Initially from the beginning till the end. Crazy, huh? (laughs) 
He would tell me why I'm here. He would tell me who I am. With I don't understand even. And in later days. I, I, I don't even know Bible very well. I will preach to angels in the unknown tongue. Before I know the Lord or baptized. <laughs> You know, strange phenomenon. The God said into a circle of people, include your dad. Don't believe in gifts. <laughs> so, speaking tongues, what are you talking about? Just lost your mind? There's <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, uh, a lot of story, laughable, but it's true. <laughs> so I don't tell anybody. Can you believe that? Nobody want to hear what I found is the Christian people, most likely, is the most self-centered, self-interested people in the world. They pretend to they want to help everybody. Interesting in everybody's life. But when you get the deeper, <laughs> the real level, see like a huge castle. <laughs> the door is thick. Hope they have some opening. <laughs> They don't want to know people, no, they want to be known by people. But that's where God's heart is. God knocked at the door. He wanted you to knock his door, and I said, then he wanted to knock your door. So that's literally, it doesn't work. It's like a fake. You got to do all kinds of charities, pretend to help people, but you don't help yourself. <laughs> it's make it sense to you, you know, so. Because they're not healed. <laughs> they don't know who they are. Many people read the Bible like a magic book. You know this God, He's gonna, he gonna bless you. He's gonna answer your prayer. It's, it's, you know. But my life is pretty sad. <laughs> I don't want to eat. Well, that's the whole point of the Bible tell you. You don't know who you are. You don't know what you need yeah. <laughs> to begin with. He had to tell you that. So that's what Paul said. And then Paul had a dramatic life in them, so mm -hmm. especially converging experience. Now all those, my encouragement to you as a young, young one, you don't have to start where I was starting. <laughs> so, not like a Paul. You can't be like a Timothy, right? So, young age, lay a good foundation. And listen to God. You don't have to go through those dramas, those up and downs, you know, so, to hear God. God is with you. That's a blessing. I'm not talking about the easy life, okay? I'm talking about a life well informed. I mean, do you understand my point? You know, so, um, so let's back to this this vision of life. So dig it, found this wisdom of life. Mm. I'm going to read twenty eight chapter of Isaiah. Isaiah. Uh, uh, Job, Job twenty eight. The whole chapter is wonderful. I want you to actually <coughs> meditate on that, because it's about the wisdom. So. Mm. Want me to read it now? Yeah, in the beginning, yes. Okay. Read it loud, it's okay. Yeah. There is a mine for silver and a place where gold is refined. Iron is taken from the earth and copper is smelted from ore. Man puts an end to darkness. He searches the farthest re recesses for ore in the blackest darkness. You know Job... Was work were old, ancient, right? Mm -hmm. Job yeah. is around Abraham time. Yeah, is. a lot of people say it should have so been one of the first. Books. Those days, people don't do metal. I mean, when they have metals, they don't know what to use for. I mean, not not really. You know, this is hard labor. This is a special tree. Make it sense to you? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine gold or silver is were hard to find? Right. You see my point, you know, so you want iron is hard to find. Hmm. You see my point, you know, those days, 
the tools, the, 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 the signs for those things are very, very primitive, you know? So, right. yeah. So this is not a, a, a casual trade. It's one of the highest trades in the land, maybe. Like today, you can build a rocket, rocket ship, you know? To, that's, you can see my point, high-skilled people do this. But it's hard labor as well, so go ahead. Hmm. I want to tell you the elevation of this quest. You know I mean? Only skilled one, in good with it, experienced one. This is, this is not something common knowledge. It has to pass on from generation to generation. Mm. It's a well kept secret. Gold, silver is a precious. Nobody wants to share with you. It's a fighting tree. Forth. Yeah, it's a secret tree. So you understand the context what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <clears throat> Far from where people dwell, he cuts a shaft. In places forgotten by the foot of man. Far from men, he dangles and sways. The earth from which food comes is transformed below by fire. Sapphires come from rocks, and its dust contains nuggets of gold. No bird of prey knows that hidden path. No falcon's eye has seen it. Proud beasts do not set foot on it. No lion prowl and no lion prowls there. Man's hand assaults the flinty rock. So there's no machine, right? Mm hmm All by hand. Yeah. Crazy. And lays bare the roots of the mountains. We miss the generations dig the shaft, you know? Hmm. Something to be passed on, a way, a, a practice to be passed Absolutely, on. Absolutely, yeah. Because sometimes they don't get through it. So, hmm. But they know there's something there. Hmm. And they again. can enlist, like today, uh, hire people to do it because they're afraid the secret be shared. You see my poem? They will yeah. kill you for those riches, you know, yep. so... Go ahead. He tunnels through the rock. His eyes see all its treasures. He searches the sources of the rivers and brings hidden things to light. But where can wisdom be found? See? The parallel out there. Hmm. That's a lot of work. A lot of initiation, the word called initiation, into a tree into a certain discipline of knowledge or experiences. But where wisdom can be found? But you need to be a family, be an apprentice to that tree. And then you're able to invite your labor on it, am I? Let's share the, the benefit if it may be. It's your inheritance pass on. I'm just talking, easy no term, ancient time, that's what they're thinking, am I? That's how they operate it. So, that's where Job came from, that concept. Hey, what about God's wisdom? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Where does understanding dwell? Man does not comprehend its worth. It cannot be found in the land of the living. The deep says, it is not in me. The sea says, it is not with me. It cannot be bought with the finest gold, nor can its price be weighed in silver. It cannot be bought with the gold of over, with the precious onyx or sapphire. Neither gold nor crystal can compare with it, nor can it be had for jewels of gold. Coral and jasper are not worthy of mention. The price of wisdom is beyond rubies. <coughs> the topaz of Kush cannot compare with it. It cannot be bought with pure gold. Where then does wisdom come from? Where does understanding dwell? It is hidden from the eyes of every living thing, concealed even from the birds of the air. Destruction and death say, only a rumor of it has reached our ears. God understands the way of it, 
and he alone knows where it dwells. For he views the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. When he established the force of the wind and measured out the waters, when he made a decree for the rain and a path for the thunderstorm, he looked up he looked at wisdom and appraised it. He confirmed it and tested it. And he said unto man, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Fear, the reverence, show respect, and I mm-hmm. honor to him. To shun evil is understanding. Evil means lawlessness. Okay, the same word. It's off of the past, off of the stand. Standard of the balance. Make it sound to you. It's a crooked standard, crooked balance. Right. Yeah. So that's what evil basically. E Asian day means. Means you got a crooked standard. You violate the boundary. Mm. You cheat on the balance mm. or the skill. That's evil. Evil people do those things, right? So. So the fear of the Lord, then that is wisdom. Is that amazing? Amen. You look at a wisdom, appraise it, that word means. You win it. He said he tested it, confirm and tested it. Like a gold, am I? Confirm and test it. Do you believe that? So if wisdom then come dwell in you, you become the embodiment or the vessel of wisdom, the servant wisdom. What are God going to do about you? He will test to prove you. They will confirm you. Don't say it. I know, I know, I know. You know? Good for you. Who's standard? Have you been winged? Have you practiced it? Have you ate bad fruits? If you know something, gonna come out of it. You have a student, right? You have a song. You have something. And said, they're fruits. So, so my point is that obviously God does things differently. Wisdom is a worried, proved, appraised as a true and a useful by her children, by her fruits. Jesus said. You see, Jesus was not more than man. <laughs> he don't have even a gospel. <laughs> he had the Old Testament. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, when you read a book like the Bible, you got to come to the Asian mind, Asian society or culture. What is highly prized and honored amongst the people? I mean, we can send to you, you know, so with that, let's wrap it up. So I'm going to pray. I, I hope I don't overload on you. No, I, bit, yeah, I, so. I definitely understand the, yeah. the message you're getting across. It's great. Yeah. It's almost like what we've talked about a lot in our community. Just yeah. the way we make decisions is definitely supposed to be spiritual led, but not it, not only just um, knowing that obviously, but practicing it and yes. then passing it down. Yes. Um, and then obviously the illustration you gave with the gold, very, very relevant, very insightful. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You still have a uh, ten minutes. You know, you don't have to learn all Chinese. Do you have anything on your heart? You want to share with me, particular? Hmm. Um. Um, hmm. Stand out for you. Know, so. Yeah, I think I, I, I've i definitely been at a time recently of just really seeking direction Yeah. in the Lord's leading in my life. I mean, because He's been revealing mm. some things to me as I've shared with you recently and mm. I I get to stuck and like looking ahead um 
for all sorts of things. And I need, I just really been trying to focus on the now. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm not going to get anywhere if I'm not, but you have to, you have to, you have to travel to get somewhere basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm saying that in like a, um, as a metaphor, like I have to sure. spiritually yeah, yeah. progressing now each day, yeah. day by day, speaking to the Lord and knowing and getting closer to the Father and being yeah. more like Him and yes. seeking out His destiny and will for my life yes. to even yes. get to the will He has for my life. Yes. So yes. I've been trying to seek that and understand that. Yeah. Um, yes, the Lord. I don't know. So I feel like the enemy recently is just, I don't know, I, there's just almost this voice in my head sometimes telling me, you know, you're wrong and what you're doing is wrong and what you think is wrong. Sure. And then, you know, like you're a bad person. And, mm. I don't know. Yeah. Just kind of like a deceiving voice. Yeah, saying, a QC voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's... Yeah. yeah. You can't, you know, it's all between time. He said, Jesus, you win. Cannot she cover that up? Mm. It was not. Shadow Christian said, you know, if you have the Lord, have the Holy Spirit, obey God, the devil should let this leave you alone. That's so dead and wrong. It's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> the more you're progressing, the harder he's going to get off. He wants to stop you. All the time. So even the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, had to endure all through his ministry, his life. But we need the truth. We need to hear which voice it came from. You know, my sheep hears my voice. So you discern which voice. And don't be surprised that they were going to talk to you mm. to argue a case for you. And often time it's through pride of self, am I? Mm. Trying to lure uh, you know, that is the middle of life. You have better way to go. So yeah. that kind of thing. So, think that's you know, what it means. Better way to go. Okay, I got all that. What my life is about? Am I happy? I have all the kingdom of the world. Okay, am I? Am I somebody? <laughs> Actually, those people are most miserable. Yep. It's already the same. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So. You know, we don't want to never assign your life based on ambition. But always a, never diminish inspiration. Don't, don't, don't ever think they're the same. They're totally different. But on the appearance, people don't understand. A man of inspiration will talk to you, think he's a man of ambition. It's inspiration. Mm. So, inspiration can only come divinely given by God. And one of the best kind of inspiration is what I try to tell you. Found your goal. Found, found your target. You know, there are things, general inspiration, to be like sound God, for example, be God's sound for the general. It's also the word peculiar inspirations. Particular silent. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Make it sense to you? you know, so. Jesus said, I'm a sin for the Jews, not for the Gentiles yet. Gentiles is a work, great work you will do that's after the disciples, and right? the disciples mm -hmm. will do it. So Peter said, and Paul and fellowship come to agreement, I'm, I'm the pastor of the Jews, you are the pastor of the Gentiles. Right. So those clarity is not small. That's a serious the kind of clarity, am I? So, interesting, huh? I mean, even with all the capacity, all the blessing, God, everything we read is supplied for the life. And they said, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm under a higher regime of display, or regime of purpose. Uh -huh. This is what I you do your own worthy life. So the, in a sense of bring even the economy, the worthy life, with the divine inspiration, in the greater scheme of things, into God's internal plan for mankind. 
How you believe that? Is it thinking on those terms? Huh? <laughs> Can you think along those terms? That's how I think. But you can't just self assume and claim it. You have to be divinely inspired, divinely cold. That's where you are. You need to continue to see the Lord. What those means for you? You just started the trickle. But it could be an ocean. <laughs> an ocean deep, ocean. You know? Have a lot of water in the ocean. In the main, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, if you have a small body of water, it's hard to make a wave, am I right? <laughs> you can't float a, a big boat. <laughs> <laughs> so capacity is very small. <coughs> but in a great ocean, you don't even think about it and make a wave, it's already that way. You know? <laughs> <coughs> you, you have a cup of water. An ant was, that's, <laughs> it's big. But man, you know, the ocean, huh? a wheel is like a smaller than a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the ant. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking, you know, so. In comparison. So, in comparison. I'm not trying to say not getting, you know, where I'm talking about, you can get there, you know? So, the concerns, the cares, the imagination, evaluation of your life today, where you sell to, how you get there. You have that way. You have that whistle in my soul. <laughs> You don't need to worry about it. It will get there. So, <laughs> so enlarge your capacity to be a body of water. He turns. So that's where wisdom came from. Can you believe that? You can be friends with all the people in the past. Even the future. <gasps> what are you talking about? Future? Yeah. The power for the ages to come. <laughs> Is that not future? <laughs> well, Different, different way to fellowship, to learn things. Mm. Amen? This day I learned from Abraham, from David, from Moses. I don't learn the technical stuff anymore. I learn what's in their heart. Sounds crazy, huh? I learned the relationship to enjoy it. The perspective to enjoy it. And it's not about details, it's not about these, you know, episodes of life. It's about, regardless of the, the situation, regardless of the episode, <laughs> how, they, how they handle those things, you know. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You're heading there. Because that's God's portion for you. And when those things are securing you, and enriching you. God will use you everywhere you go. <laughs> so this next picture, I forgot about it. <laughs> In the beginning, I said two pictures. One is digging gold. The other is like a magnet, am I right? If you're a magnet, do you try to seek the things? <laughs> they come to you. Attract to you. You become a magnet. That's a power of God's wisdom. It's like a magnet. Why are you you got really young man? You have a lot of interest, a lot of energies. Why you sit down with me? Listen to me, bubbly. If you draw to something beyond merely words or experiences, if you draw to a higher apt. A, a, a great appetite for spiritual wisdom, for God's way. Amen. Hallelujah. The same words spoke about another person said, Hey, that's trying to be smart. <laughs> but speak about me because you know me, right? So, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's something to do with God, maybe yeah. beneficial for you. That's changed everything. So, are your life? So, it's your life. Don't try to be a Joshua without being. A Joseph with God. 
Don't try to think you'll be Daniel without Daniel's relation with God. That was made Daniel, Daniel made Joseph, Joseph. Not the experience, it's the God relationship with it. Make it sense to you? David, Solomon, Abraham, it's all because they have developed a relation with God. If God is with you, God is for you, Paul said. Who can be against you? That's his mindset. Who can be against you? You are preaching the gospel. How to preach? What what kind of preach? What kind of technique I'm gonna use? I don't care. <laughs> you will preach the gospel. You say all those tools I need to do. I need to do this. No, 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 no. You need to get into the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Being reached by your intimacy with the Holy Spirit, and give Him reign and freedom to educate you and to use you to flow through you. Am I? Make it sense to you, you know, so. You would think I learned all this thing by great studies. No, no, no. It's just through meditation. So dialogue with the Holy Spirit. Dialogue with God's mind. God's living person, right? So the Holy Spirit. Fellowship with spirit to spirit, right? So you write the law in your heart, spirit to spirit. So it dialogue with you. You write where? In the mind? Or in your heart? Now, how you write something in your heart? That's an uh, uh, allegory. Just speaking there. This is the things getting in your heart. It does not take the language mind. That's what he said. Mm. You know, when you need it, it will come about as a language mind, as a conversational decision that it translated, communicated with others. But that's not what it's all about. The things goes a realm. There's no language for it. Not because it's mystical, true and mystical in a way, but it's a nature of it. Make it sense to you? You know so so you see the ocean oh why does it become an ocean? Because in low places. Water going to stuck there. <laughs> Fall into it. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. So, so, so why do make the ocean ocean? It's because of water. The, the ocean is a, a, a shape that is suitable for water to gather together. So are you. Amen? Hallelujah. When you become that vessel, and those endless, boundless things can come to you. From all directions. And people said, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. You know, you try to make a way in a car. Can you have it? Or try to solve something. <laughs> to try to transport a good. Can you have it? It will never happen. You will say, I got the water. I'll go some way. What's the difference? The difference is you don't have much. <laughs> Your vessel is too small. I mean, you, you can argue. I got the water. You have the same water. We're the same. Hold on, man. <laughs> Fire is everywhere. Light is everywhere. They're not the same. So is the year. So is the spiritual man. They're not the same. We all sons of God. We all saved. Are you, are you kidding me? What a lie! I mean, it's a crazy lie. That's, but most Christians believe those stupid lies. Stupid lies. I mean, literally, that's the definite stupidity. <laughs> Am I right? Death, if not deception. Innocently thinking like that is a, it's a stupidity. <laughs> you have a, ten fingers on your head. You don't tell me. I'm the finger, I'm the finger, I'm no different. No different than the thumb. <laughs> the finger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> told the one well lost the son. And told the one well lost the little finger. See what the difference. <laughs> Make sense in this. Definitely difference. Different hand. Agility and ability hand. I'm just talking. You, know, so. you lost the thumb. Can, can you shoot arrow? 
hard to do it myself. <laughs> Can you ride good? <laughs> Not really, am I? So, it's obvious. A little finger, oh, it doesn't count really. <laughs> See my point. <laughs> so, but I'm the finger, I'm the finger, you're the finger, what's the difference? <laughs> You don't find that those are put into traps, young mind. I'm trying to encourage it deeper to you. That's how you really learn to honor people, honor yourself. And honor yourself. Have, have your self esteem. Don't be argued out of the case <laughs> yeah. for knowing who you are. Amen? If you're a little finger, be a little finger. <laughs> don't every word given to a thumb. But you have a thumb. Don't try. To be a little finger, then I'm just one of the finger. I don't count. <laughs> be the thumb. The man called Ali, and uh, not to come present, don't be settled with your portion mm. for fear destiny. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Make it sense to you? A mother raised up a children is equally fulfilled destiny as one go out in one's lives. Like a Paul did or Peter did. Make sense to you? He fulfilled destiny. And then how that works? Is it equal? I don't know whether your idea of equality is not. <laughs> or is it not? <laughs> not now, or maybe in eternity, who knows? But in eternity, nobody compare one another anymore. <laughs> We're part of whole. We don't go compare, eh? We don't do individualism. <laughs> so, so what in the world are you thinking? You don't use it, your own little world, <laughs> little life to dictate the eternity of the operate. <laughs> Make it sense to you. I want you to pray. I want to give you true liberty, the mind. Mm. Then those anxiety, comparison, competitiveness, not to settle with your portion, those kind of things, which is maybe peer pressure or societal pressure, will be gone. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know the Bible said, the Lord Jesus said, the disciples, the disciples said, Hey, what are you going to do when we drag before the king? They're going to argue a case and the car accuse. Argue a case. Jesus said, don't worry about it, you know. For my spirit will be with you. I will tell you what to say and how to say it. Mm. Sense by encouragement to you, not only the other kids before the king, but for your future. A righteous man's steps are full or then abandoned. Mm. May that right in your heart, in your mind. Swear to the devil come to town to you, to trouble you. Mm. Maybe you feel for sure or be misled, whatever. Make it sense to you, where you wholeheartedly. Search the will of the Lord and aside with the will of the Lord and commit to the will of the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Well, that's how the devil try to do, am I? Mm. With those, those ways of a dialogue and communion with God. Mm. Go ahead, Eliza, pray. Now pray for me, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lord, your will, Lord, is perfect. Lord, your ways Lord are unchanged Lord I pray that I would only listen to your voice Lord as a sheep to a shepherd's voice or like a son who knows his father's voice Lord I want to be a true son in your house Lord, I want to be one that does, Lord, your will, Lord, and one that follows, Lord, the destiny you have set out for me. Mm. Lord, I pray for Brother Emmanuel. Mm. I thank you for his heart and his obedience to you, Father. I pray that you would bless him, Lord, or lift him up, Lord, and that the responsibility that he has in your house, Lord, would not be a burden to him, Lord, but an encouragement for what you are doing. Mm. Lord, I thank you greatly for his life and his impact on my life, mm. Lord, and so many others. 
pray that you would continue to impart wisdom and understanding to him. Pray that you would bless our relationship together. Continue as we continue to meet together. Pray your name. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, mm. I'm aware. Encouraged by you, eh? Yes, mm. so we think you make small progress. That's not my evaluation. Mm. In the past year or so, you have made leap of the bounds in your life, especially in your spiritual walk. Okay, mm. so take encouragement, yeah, yourself. So. Mm.